Hey, what's going on YouTube? So, watched a couple movies, about maybe like three or four movies, with the um, AC Infinity cooler. And I must say, it does what it's supposed to do, honestly. I wasn't expecting it to cool off the the um the receiver so good. I, I didn't. It wasn't even warm, honestly. It wasn't as warm as it's supposed to be, or it usually is, which was quite, quite shocking. So, nothing but good, good things so far. Money worth spent. But um, go ahead and sh show you guys or tell you guys certain things about the, about this cooler that you might not know what these two little buttons do. Right now, my receiver, my oh, I keep saying receiver because it's in my face. I'm sorry. Right now, the cooler is on smart mode. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what these things are. So there's two buttons on, on this cooler, which is this button, which is the select your mode and your fan speed. That's it. No digital clocks or digital numbers or anything like that in my face. That's why I like sim simplicity. As you can tell, everything is just simple. But um, for the mode select, it has four selects, four choices, which is off, on, auto and smart I don't know why would they have an off choice honestly because why would you want to have the fan off then you buy for it to be on but hey the option is there if you want it but um on now it just turns the fan on um it doesn't matter if the receiver is on or not or if it's cold or hot the fan stays on and it blows that's it. That's what on does. Now for auto, um, the the cooler needs to be at eighty eight degrees, if I'm not mistaken, eighty eight degrees Fahrenheit for the fan to kick on. Now there's four choices of fan speed. There is um low, medium, high, and very high. Obviously, the higher you go, the the kind of louder it gets, but it's it's kind of quiet if you think about it. From what I tell, from what I can tell, it's kind of quiet. But um, for auto now, you choose your fan speed, and when the receiver gets eighty eight degrees, it turns on. That's what auto does. You choose your fan speed. Now for smart, what I have mine set as smart is. It's it kind of works like auto. But instead of it going um turn it on to 80 degrees which it does but it kind of tur it turns the fan speed from low like if say for example if you if your fan comes on at 88 on low and say that, that low is not strong enough to cool it down it goes to 90 so what the cooler does it goes to medium the fan goes to medium and goes to 95 the fan goes to high that's basically what it does and that's what i wanted that's why i said it as um what else <clears throat> so um that's what the um the smart does anything else that's on here it's very it's very it's a very simple thing it turns on when you need it to turn on and it cools your fan though. But another thing I have to talk about the the um you would think that the receiver is blowing out has hot air coming out of it. But for some strange reason, this thing just blows out cold air. Cold air comes out of here. That's kinda weird. I don't understand how that works. There's no like liquid cooler inside the cooler or anything like that. It's just fans. How did it transfer the heat to cool like that? I don't know. But that's basically it. So this button, mode select, and fan speed. That's all you need to know. Four, four, um, four modes, off, on, smart, and auto. Four fan speeds, low, medium, high, and very high. Turns on at 88 degrees for all modes, 
except off, obviously. And that's it. Oh, for for the odd for the smart mode. If the um if it's up to like say your your receiver is ninety degrees and it's on smart mode, what the cooler does is if it temperature drops on the receiver, the fan speed also drops. I think it's every two degrees it goes down. So that's it. I'm trying to see if you can hear the fan speed right now. Make it go a little closer. Right now, that's off. That's on. And it's on high. That's very high. That's max. I don't know if you guys can hear that. So that's on right now. That's low, medium, high, and very high. And it's nothing but cool air, but obviously the receivers are on, but but that's auto. You know it's auto because I have this little orange light. And right now my auto is set to 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 medium. But I have it on smart. And it's two lights and it's smart. Which it turns on at 88 degrees on. What I have it set it. I think I set it up at, at high. No, I haven't set it on medium. So that's basically it. Not much difference from the. Oh, I made a mistake early in the, in the earlier video. This is the S series. The one with the digital in the front is the T series. But they're basically the same thing. It's just the one with the with the with the clock and stuff in the front. You can adjust when you want the temperature. Like if you don't want it to go on eighty eight, you want it to go on ninety. You can set it to go on at 90. If it goes past 95, it has this alarm that beeps that let you know it's too hot. Just like stuff that I don't really care much. I just need the the receiver, the cooler to turn down the to cool down the, the, the AC. Oh, I'm messing up. I just need the cooler to turn down the receiver temperature wise. Sorry, it's late. I'm feel, I'm doing this at like mad late now. But um, I need to go to bed. I got work early in the morning. But that's it. Just wanted to show you guys how cool this thing is. No pun intended. And take care. This is on Amazon right now for 80 bucks. And the other one is for like 110 I think it is. So if you don't mind seeing the numbers in your face while you're watching the movie. And there's no dim on that one either. You can't dim down the brightness. So that's another reason why I didn't want it. Unless I'm put a piece of tape over the lens or something. So just got this one instead. Nice and simple. Power conditioner, nice and simple. Pride and joy right here. The cooler and the receiver. So, that's it. Obviously, peace, love, resistance. Peace.